the start of an inquest into the Sydney Cafe siege has heard that hostage Katrina Dawson was killed by fragments from a police bullet or bullets. The inquest heard that another hostage, Tori Johnson, was killed by a bullet to the head from gunman Manharin Monies. That prompted police to raid the Lint Chocolate Cafe, ending the siege but leaving Ems Dawson and Monies dead. The inquest is seeking to establish exactly how the three died and whether their deaths could have been avoided. The hearing will also examine whether it was appropriate to treat the siege as a terrorist event and whether the crisis could have been managed better. Monies took 18 people hostage at the cafe in Martin Place in Sydney's business district on 15 December, leading to a massive police operation and the shutdown of a large part of the city centre. At the opening of the coronial inquest in Sydney, Jeremy Gormley, the lawyer assisting the state coroner, said Ems Dawson was struck by six fragments of a police bullet or bullets which ricocheted from hard surfaces into her body. I will not detail the damage done to Ems Dawson other than to say that one fragment struck a major blood vessel. She lost consciousness quickly and died shortly afterwards. Australian media reports earlier this month had indicated that Ems Dawson, a 38-year-old barrister and mother of three young children, had died after being hit in the heart and shoulder by fragments from a police bullet. Bomb claimed the inquest heard that Moniz entered the cafe on the morning of 15 December with a sawn-off shotgun hidden in a plastic bag. He ordered chocolate cake and tea, and asked to speak to the manager, Mr Johnson. After ordering Mr Johnson to lock the cafe, he announced, This is an attack. I have a bomb.